Senator Klobuchar made a stop in Park Rapids today to discuss the growing age gap in the agriculture community and the future of the industry. Our Logan Gay has more. To address the needs of rural Minnesota, Senator Klobuchar stopped in Park Rapids to discuss the School to Agriculture program. I think a lot of times when people think about the farm bill, they only think about farms, uh, but actually rural development is a big piece of it. So we came to hear what's going on in Park Rapids and then to take those ideas and see how we can help. Agriculture is an important part of the Park Rapids community. People think ag, they just think farmers. There's a every job in these small, there's tons of jobs that have a lot to do with egg. The goal is to get students started thinking early about the opportunities the agriculture industry can offer them. The average age of the farmer is over 60 now and so we need a new crop of students going into agriculture and manufacturing and sometimes uh, kids graduate and they don't quite know what they want to do. Senator Klobuchar also has plans to continue to work on the new market tax credit. Minnesota is the fourth state in the country for using that tax credit in smart ways to develop and expand businesses. It's not just about community centers, it's also a lot of businesses, small businesses. Residents of Park Rapids like Paul Dubb are excited about the possibilities. Well, I think it's great that uh, that things are happening in the community that need financing, that they can find that financing from willing sources. And so I think that is the future of, uh, of what's going to be happening here in Park Rapids. And I think there's a, it's a great future. In Park Rapids, Logan Gay, Lakeland News. Senator Klobuchar also made a stop in Wadena today to talk about her work with Alzheimer's disease. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.